In this video, I will show you an example of super mesh analysis circuit in which I have to find out the current through a 3 ohm resistor. See, this is our 3 ohm resistor and for this 3 ohm resistor, I have to calculate the current that is flowing through this 3 ohm resistor, but we have to use super mesh analysis. As super mesh analysis is also a type of mesh analysis, therefore at first step I will identify the total number of meshes here. See here, in this circuit we will have total 3 meshes. Let's say this is our mesh 1, this is our mesh 2 and this is our mesh 3. This A, B, C, D, E, A. A, B, C, D, E, A it will represent our mesh number one after that C F G D C C F G D C this will be our mesh number two after that D Z H E D D G H E D that will be our mesh number three so this will be our mesh 1 this will be mesh 2 and this will be mesh 3 after that i have to assign independent loop current for each of the loop let's say the current for the loop 1 will be i1 for the current for the mesh 2 will be i2 and the current for the mesh 3 will be i3 therefore i will assume the current i1 here current will be i2 and the arbitrary current i3 and I will assume the I1 will be flowing in this clockwise direction which I have indicated by this arrow line. I2 will be flowing in this clockwise direction which I have indicated with this arrow and I3 will be in clockwise direction which I have indicated in the with this arrow. After that I have to indicate the polarities of the resistors. See as I1 will be entering from this direction in case of this one ohm resistor this terminal will be positive in 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 mesh 1 and this terminal will be negative and i2 will be entering from this direction in loop 2 therefore this terminal will be positive and this terminal will be negative see in case of this 2 ohm resistor as it is placed between mesh 1 and mesh 3 therefore in mesh 3 it will have polarity positive polarity at this side and negative polarity at this side and in case of this 2 ohm it will have positive polarity at this side and negative polarity at this side in case of this 2 ohms this 2 ohm resistor is a part of mesh 2 only therefore it will be entering from this direction so this terminal should be positive and this terminal should be negative see in case of this 3 ohm it is placed between mesh 2 and mesh 3 therefore in mesh 2 side it will have positive in this side and negative at this side and in in loop 3 it will have positive at this side because i3 will be entering from this direction this terminal will be negative see in case of this one ohm resistor i will have positive polarity at this side and negative polarity at this side see here i have to calculate the current through this 3 ohm resistor now look at mesh 3 and mesh 1 mesh 3 and mesh 1 share a common current source of 7 ampere Therefore, I can expect that if I remove this 7 ampere current source from the circuit, I will get a super mesh by merging the mesh 1 and mesh 3, which I can indicate a circuit like this. See, I have removed the 7 ampere current source. Okay, therefore, our mesh 1 and mesh 3 will form our super mesh see see here i have removed the current source therefore the branch between this terminal to this terminal gets opened therefore i can remove this 2 ohm resistor that was inside our super mesh after that i will apply kcl at this node associated with all loop currents inside the super mesh and the current source see see as this node d is inside our super mesh in case of the in case inside super mesh you will see i1 will be entering from this direction in this node and i3 will be leaving in this direction 
because I have assumed this I3 and I1 in clockwise direction as I2 will be outside of supermesh therefore I don't have to consider the I2 and you will see the 7 ampere current source was outgoing from this node therefore if I apply KCL at the terminal associated with all the currents inside the super mesh and the current source I will get I1 is the only incoming current and I3 and 7 ampere was our outgoing current from which I can write I1 minus I3 will be equal to 7 and this will be our equation number 1 after that I will apply simple KVL inside our super mesh I will revolve into the outer periphery of the super mesh so at first so from this point to this point I will encounter the 7 volt source and its negative terminal first therefore its voltage will be plus 7 after that I will encounter this 1 ohm resistor and its positive terminal therefore its voltage sign will be negative 1 into here you will see I1 will be entering from this direction and I2 will be in this direction as I1 and I2 are flowing in opposite direction therefore I will assume I1 current will be greater than I2 after that I will encounter this 3 ohm resistor and its positive polarity therefore its voltage will be negative minus 3 into see I3 will be entering from this direction and I2 will be leaving from this direction as I3 and I2 are flowing in opposite direction and I am in mesh 3 therefore I will take I3 greater than our I2 after that I will encounter this 1 ohm resistor and its positive polarity therefore its voltage will be negative and here the resistor is 1 ohm and the current is I3 that will be equal to 0 if I simplify this equation I will get minus I1 minus I1 plus 4I2 minus 4I3 equal to minus 7 this will this will be our equation number 2 so far I have obtained total two equations one by applying KCL at the terminal in which our 7 ampere current source was connected and another by applying KVL at the super mesh now we have to solve for total three loop currents but we have only two equations if I want to solve these two equations for the three variables they will give us infinitely many solutions therefore I have to obtain another equation so that I can solve total three variables by using three equations see we are left with the mesh number two in which we don't apply any KVL or KCL because it was outside of our super mesh now if I apply normal KVL likewise our mesh analysis you'll see at first I will encounter this one ohm resistor and its positive polarity inside mesh number 2 therefore its voltage will be negative as I2 will be entering I from this direction and I1 will be in this direction so I, it will be I2 minus I1 after that I will encounter this 2 ohm resistor and its positive polarity therefore its voltage will be negative minus 2 uh, I2 after that I will encounter this 3 ohm and inside mesh 2 I have its positive terminal therefore its it will be minus 3 I2 minus I3 will be equal to 0 now if I simplify this equation I will get I1 minus 6 I2 plus 3 I3 will be equal to 0 now if I solve our equation number 1 2 and 3 I will get I1 equal to 9 ampere I2 equal to 2.5 ampere and I3 equal to 2 ampere now I3 equal to 2 ampere I2 equal to 2.5 ampere and I1 equal to 9 ampere 
here I have to calculate the current through this 3 ohm resistor C I3 is flowing in this direction and I2 is flowing in this direction therefore if I denote the, the current through this 3 ohm resistor with I3 ohm our resultant current will flow in the direction of I2 because its value equal to 2.5 and I3 equal to 2 ampere therefore our resultant current will be 0.5 ampere because I2 will be flowing in this direction and I3 will be flowing in this direction therefore I3 will be the difference of this I2 and I3 which will be equal to 0.5 ampere okay that's it thank you